I have a really good topic for you people today. White privilege. Is white privilege real? It absolutely is fucking real. I've seen people make posts on social media, white people, or even told me personally, and was like, what is this white privilege people talking about? I don't feel very privileged. I work hard for everything in my life. Uh, people don't understand that white privilege is not like a goodie basket just because you're white, you're gonna get like a nice house, a good credit, nice bank account. You get to live in a gated community. No, you know, those are stuff you work for. You know, white privilege is how you get treated by others. I know you're probably looking at this video you're saying like, what the fuck are you talking about, Edmund? You are white. You know, yes, I am white. I look white, but I'm a third world white. That's a different type of white. It comes with no privileges. I usually get the white treatment until people hear my accent and they realize I'm not from here. My first experience with white privilege was in my early to mid-20s, you know, on two occasions I realized I wasn't really white. You know, in my younger years, I would get pulled over very often from the police, you know, usually for very, very minor traffic violations. And first time I realized I wasn't really white, it was, uh, I was going to school one day and whoop, cop lights behind me, I get pulled over, the police officer is very friendly in the beginning, you know, very polite. Good morning, sir. You know, how are you doing today? Do you know why I pulled you over? You know, me with my heavy accent. I'm not sure, officer, why you pulled me over. You know, he's like, as soon as he heard that accent, he's like, this fucker is not white. Tone changed immediately. He's like, license and registration now. You know how fast you were going? I clocked you in a 28 on a 25 zone. I was like, I'm sorry, officer. So yeah, I get the ticket. You know, that's when I realized I'm like, fuck, I just look white. I'm not white. And several months later, you know, almost same experience. I did not make a full stop at a stop sign because I was turning right. It was at night. There was no other cars. I didn't feel it was necessary to make a complete stop. Same thing, you know, police officer is very nice, very friendly in the beginning, you know, pro polite and professional. He was like, how are you this evening? You know, then he's like, do you know why I pulled you over? You know, I'm like with my accent again, I'm, I think it was because of the stop sign. As soon as they heard that accent, tone changed almost immediately. Again, you know, that's something like realizing like, I'm not white, you know. So white privilege is how you get treated. You know, you see all these videos that go viral, you know, of white people calling the police on black people because they believe they don't belong there. You're like the lady who was stopping this black dude from entering his own house because she believed he did not live there even though he had keys to the place. She wanted to call the police on him. People calling the police because they see black people at a community pool. So, you know, that's, that's the white privilege. If it was a white person, they wouldn't be questioning if they belong there or not. So, you know, the white privilege is, you know, a white person can go on a spree killing and get taken without a scratch on them, and a black person can get their ass beat by the police for jaywalking or get choked out for selling loose cigarettes. So, you know, that, that's white privilege. But the great thing is about that, you know, like, two young men in Texas did a really cool video that decided to do a test on white privilege. So what they did is they both dressed fairly the same. They're about the same age, you know, they look like in the mid-20s. Since there is an open carry law in Texas, you know, they decided to both of them to walk with an AR-15 on their back and to see, you know, how the police stop them and check them. You know, first goes the white guy looking very nice, you know, just AR-15 on his back, strolling down the sidewalk. Police officer sees him, tells him to stop, you know, police officer gets out, you know, checks his weapon, checks his ID and let him go. And that was it. Very nice, very professional, very civil done, you know. Then the black guy does the same thing, just strolling along sidewalk, AR-15 on his back, cop sees him, holds him at gunpoint, screaming at him, get down the fucking ground, do not move, still being held at gunpoint, he's laying on the, on the, on the, on the street with his face on the ground, arms and legs spread apart, the weapon is literally further from him. The cop still holds him at gunpoint. He's calling for backup. Three more cop cars come there. You know, you have like three, four officers holding him at gunpoint. And one of them takes the weapon and they handcuff him and they check him if he's allowed to have this weapon. See, that's where the white privilege is real. So, yes, there is still systematic racism in America. Let's not lie to themselves and the white privilege is real. I'm not saying it happens every time, but it happens a lot. Stay woke.